All right, good morning, everybody. It's your boy Akeem, and welcome to today's vlogs. Continuing with more scout reports on players headed towards the 2017 NFL Draft. For this vlog, I'm here to talk about inside linebacker Waquan McMillan out of the Ohio State. Now, this kid was one of the top prep players coming out of high school, out of Hinesville, Georgia, a five-star recruit. He actually did get some playing time as a freshman with 54 tackles, helping the team win a national championship in 2014. 2015, he did get the starting nod, leading the team with 119 tackles. And in this past season, 109 tackles, and he was in the Buckets Award watch list given to the nation's top linebacker. This kid, I think this is is going to be a great player coming out of Ohio State. Just like we've been seeing for the past couple of seasons from the Buckeyes defense, they had Joey Bosa, who was this past year's defensive rookie of the year for the San Diego Chargers. Eli Apple for the New York Giants. He's actually had a pretty good rookie season, particularly in the second half. And then even Darren Lee out of uh, the New York Jets. Look out for him. I do wish the best for him. And he does remind me a lot of Darren Lee with his size. He does have the prototypical size at six foot two, two 245 pounds definitely has great size to play inside linebacker and he does have a lot of strength pretty good caliber strength he bench pressed 225 pounds 23 times which is a great thing about him that shows that he could give you the deliver a great pop in his tackles and possibly even cause a couple of fumbles and possibly could even take some players off the game because of his strength now the thing i do like most about him is his speed he does run in between 4 6 and 4 7 40 which is a great speed you want your mike line Backer to have. I do like that a lot about him. He does show um, um, pretty decent flexibility and lateral agility and bounce with his power overall. He's a good, powerful tackler. Now, he does have a couple weaknesses, though, that I have been um, noticing a little bit. Now, he sometimes struggles in his change of direction. I mentioned his flexibility. Still needs a little bit crisp on. I think it's pretty good flexibility, but he does struggle sometimes with his strength and his change in directions. And I think a little bit question as far as his uh, pass coverage skills. And I do think he has the ability to become a good pass coverage um, um, linebacker as well. He sometimes focuses a little too much too much into looking into, um, into the backfield a little bit too long. And when he um, loses his sight on the coverage, he needs to do a better job job with that in that particular area sometimes I'm a little bit concerned I think especially in passing planes passing plays in the National Football League and pass down situations I think he could be unreliable at times just needs to work on that but I do like the fact that even coach Urban Meyer says that he works hard on his craft and he works very hard and he's looking to impress the coaches and improve as a player I think he will improve at the next level I think he because of his tackling ability he could be he be very reliable and I think he had, still has plenty of time to grow now one last weakness that I look that I did notice sometimes I just wish he wrapped his arms a lot more and used better technique as far as his tackles as opposed to trying to deliver a big hit he does remind me of Ru Ruben Foster but he does have more I do like the fact that he does have discipline to play at linebacker I do like that a lot but he does need to work on his technique as far as tackling instead of depending too much on his power and just need to focus on technique and just making sure he wraps up to secure the tackle just he's improving that just a little bit more now overall from my projection I actually see him at earliest an early a, not early a late first round pick but I see him no later in the second round of this year's draft now the next time I'm going to catch you guys will be in just a couple of minutes I have more blogs for you today thank you for watching this blog I'm your man Akeem McCall be easy